I've spent the last 700 hours exploring the new continent of Varlamore, chunk by chunk. We started with some easy grinds, which let us get warmed up to this new account. And then we progressed to some not so easy grinds, like getting 43 crafting, primarily from bone statuettes and gem stalls, or getting the 1 in 5,000 curve bone from hill giants. But our new chunk just might have the hardest grinds we've done so far, and it might have some other implications as well. By the way, it wasn't the Colosseum, though it could be very soon. If you remember from last episode, I left you guys on a bit of a cliffhanger. Before we get to the result of the chunk roll, let's do a speed run on all the rollable chunks. I'm only going to highlight the most difficult tasks from each of these rollable chunks because there's quite a few. But please pause if you want to take a closer look at all the chunk tasks, or go back to the last episode when we broke them all down in detail. Partial completion of Twilight's Promise. A lot here. Crafting is the worst. And cooking. Puro Puro. That's enough said. Free! Charters. And a helmet upgrade. Another freebie! 88 smithing and 90 mining. 90 mining. Uncut emerald from Room World. Basically free. Another uh, freebie! Alright. Let's roll it. Enough lollygagging. Ah! There it is. Now that we rolled our new chunk, Let's take a look at what we have in store. There are a total of six tasks, but two are significantly more time consuming. The first of those two tasks being 87 crafting. We'll go into it in further detail later, but this involves world hopping to buy buckets of sand and soda ash to make molten glass and blow it into other items. The other larger task is 95 cooking. While 95 cooking doesn't stem from this chunk alone, it's rather a side effect of having the farming patch unlocked outside of the fortis walls. Farming is passive for me, so I don't have any direct farming tasks, but it does create tasks like this 95 cooking. Since we'll be in this chunk for a while, it's safe to assume we'll definitely get 31 farming. The level requirement to plant strawberries, which of course gives us the opportunity to make the partial summer pie. The remaining four tasks are pretty simple. They just involve woodcutting, fletching, and fire making, which we'll do passively when we're doing things like editing videos or making thumbnails. Honestly, it's about time we get a chunk where we could do active tasks, but also have something in the back burner to do that's more passive. It's given me more time to look at things like this. Our analytics. Wait a minute. Wait, what? Why the heck are you guys not subscribed? Go back. Hit that subscribe button. Come on, help me out, man. And there's 44 crafting, the first level of many in this chunk. 45 crafting. Every once in a while, we'll stop and go get some farming XP. Right here is level 20. This is a milestone level for us. This is 46 crafting. This means we're done with fish bowls and we can now switch over to making glass orbs, which gives us 10 XP extra per craft. I'm fairly certain I'm delusional for this, but this level did seem faster. There's 47 crafting. Of course, it's not a spoon video without missing some levels. We got 49 crafting, which is bullseye lantern lenses. This is actually the last tier of all glass blowing that we'll hit before we hit that elusive 87 requirement. Don't mind the uh, banter. But we did get level 50 crafting, nice round number. This will be the last level for the day, 51 crafting, a good start to our grind. It's a nice change of pace for me. Inside of our chunk, we do have some fletching and woodcutting grinds, so I'm able to do this as AFKing. I was making the episode 10, so I've been AFKing this and gathered a couple of lamps, so we'll take these lamps, throw them onto, of course, agility, which is our new goal, and that gets us one lamp away from level two. I missed more than a few levels this time. We got to 61 crafting. Um, yeah, sorry about that. I've been holding on to a book, obviously, but I didn't want to put it immediately onto agility because it would only be worth 15. If I wait until the next one, it's worth 30, the next one being the next level. So I just got a lamp from Sergeant Damon. So we'll take this, throw it onto agility. That'll obviously give us level two, which is huge. And then we'll take the book and immediately throw it into agility as well, which puts us pretty much halfway to level three. All right, I figured it's a good time to update you on two things. One makes sense. I just hit level 75 woodcutting. The second is our total U logs in the bank at the moment. We're just hitting the 2500 mark. I estimate that's somewhere around 40% through the amount of logs that we need for our fletching grind. I've been holding on to this book of knowledge for probably too long. 
and ideally I was waiting to get a couple of lamps so that we could use it more efficiently. If I did my calculations right, this should get us to something like level 3, probably like 40-50 XP into level 3. Certainly is going to help us in the long run, but we have a long way to go at least until level 6 to get that run energy boost. We just banked and are at like 3700 U logs, so we're over halfway on the U logs. We also have a couple of uh, stashed lamps and such. We'll use both these lamps uh, first on agility, which should get us to level 4. And then, of course, we'll use the book last to get an extra 5 XP, which puts us 43 XP away. So we're one book or two lamps away. It's been a while since we updated our levels. Right now, we're at level 29 farming, which is two levels away from the strawberry that we need for the partial summer pie. Just got a mystery box and casket that'll be useless. Nice. So exciting. I've got this lamp, and of course, we're going to throw it onto agility. I'm using it right now because I actually want to clear my inventory. I'm going to start hopping and stealing gems. My thought process is if I hop in between the one hour timers that you can get random events, I can at least maximize some sort of efficiency of getting crafting XP, but also being able to get random events for agility XP. A lot of you are probably wondering, hey Spoon, why are you doing any thieving? It's certainly not on your requirements and it's not a task. And I'm going to answer that question right now. Let's go into detail of why we're thieving and why it might be beneficial in the future. First, we need to look at what rollable chunks we have available to us. Currently, we have the Cam to Run Path and the Stonecutter Outpost, both that have mining requirements and smithing requirements if we unlock it. Cam to Run has an 88 smithing requirement, which is over 230,000 iron ore, while the Stonecutter Outpost only has about 32,000, which is certainly doable, so I'm okay with that. But then if you add the Outer Fortis Farms, which has Puro Puro in it, it means we instantly have to backlog 99 smithing from a rune bar that we can turn into a rune plate body. That means we need to get almost 700 100,000 iron ore to get to 99 smithing. All in all, this means we need as many rings of forging as absolutely possible to try to limit that number. Ideally, we get somewhere around 2,000 and can cut this number in completely in half. While we need practically unlimited rings of forging, I'm not going to sit here and do the entire crafting grind just by thieving gems. We're close to 99, might as well work towards that 99 thieving mark. We'll see how many gems we get and then we'll take it from there. I took a complete day off, started working on just thumbnails essentially, but I didn't realize how many random events I actually missed. I missed a count check, a dunce, a freaky forester, a genie, and another dunce. All in all, it stinks, but we did get this lamp. We've got this one from a freaky forester. We'll throw this one onto agility. That'll get us level five, one level away from the level six that we want for the next run energy restoration. All right, now that we're done making fun of me for missing all the randoms, I did get another lamp. We'll throw this onto agility. This is the second to last lamp that we'll need to get to level six, though we don't really have any shortcuts around, so we'll probably end up lamping a little bit further. Yippee, 95 thieving. Well, I don't think that could have come at a better time. Last spot of the inventory, throw this lamp, of course, onto agility. This is, boom, six. That is actually huge. Six seems meaningless, but that actually is the next tier for run energy restoration. So we will technically be able to uh, regen run a little bit faster, which actually will help us when we're running back and forth to the bank and also when we're doing gems because specifically when I do gems, I'm constantly out of energy and the same will be here for charter. So it'll help in the long term, probably save us like an hour or two of the whole grind if I had to guess. All right. And with this one, boom, 96 thieving three to go i figure while we got 96 we might as well take a look at the bank yeah so we got 96 obviously this is where we're setting almost 5k sapphires obviously the important ones being the emeralds for potential du dueling rings uh later but rubies for forge rings of forging about 350 ish not too bad we'll have probably i don't know triple this maybe so like probably a total of 1500 or uh 15 000, sorry which would put us i don't know somewhere in like 700 kind of like what we were thinking before actually maybe closer to like a thousand I think is what we we're thinking before for rubies. So that'd be fun. Once we finish 96, I got reminded by somebody in uh, the CC. Hey, like farm runs. Don't forget farm runs. I uh, don't remember when the last time we did a farm run, but this should give us a level here while we do this. So that's good. And ba -ba bing 34. Well, I hit the hop limit doing the thieving. And typically when I hit the hop limit, I just kind of come back here and just start going through some of these sand and soda ash that I do have banked. 
and in doing so we got 63 crafting i don't know why i do this to myself especially with mega chad who beat me in a different challenge earlier in the series so if you haven't seen it go, go back and look i think we pretty much just challenged each other to uh 99 he said if he has to get 99 before me otherwise he's a failure uh, i told him i was doing gem stalls and i said uh i'll be impressed if you beat me so now he's kind of feeling like it's a challenge so stay tuned we'll see who wins it all right so i've been holding on to a couple of lamps uh i've decided after we're talking through it with a couple of the people that i'm just gonna suck it up if we get a shortcut grind it is what it is we're just gonna keep lamping agility that gets us to level seven and we're obviously hopping currently for some gems we are at 96 still 32 percent through 96 so but we've st certainly still got a long way to go oh man i did it again i don't even know if that gz is for me it doesn't even show in the chat that's ridiculous uh 97 did it again so that is 64 crafting i've hit the hop limit a lot and unfortunately with hitting hop limit i don't really have much else to do i do have quite the backlog of gems so i've decided to just start cutting them i'll probably do a couple hours of this and then go back to hopping hopefully most of my world hops will reset by then just finished an inventory and of course missed it 65 still going and there's 66 crafting i got a little bit carried away that was 67 i'm actually just gonna call it there 4200 left so we're just gonna do a little bit more hopping and we'll see how far we can get before we hit the limit again well i stopped that recording at the exact second that this thing started but we did get a daemon random so i will grab this and i will throw it on agility and here it is let's throw it on agility no level but we got close yeah we did it again we hit the hop limit back to crafting that was 68 i think that was the last funny number we're gonna get for this chunk 69 crafting just had a leo random so we will take a of course throw it on agility that'll give us a level and the next milestone that's really actually important is 12 that'll give us the next uh, run energy boost 98 boys 98 one to go chilling in varlamore with the crew and mark say hi mark hello we finally did it, or not finally, but in one click, finally did it. First ever 99 since ever starting RuneScape. I've never gotten one. Played many accounts, but never stuck enough to get to the 99. We are 5 XP away. No better place to do it than the place that it all started when I had to pickpocket this single tourist all the way to 40. Let's get it over with. That's crazy. Boom. There it is. First ever 99. About time you get a freaking 99, dude. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Congratulations, you are now a master thief. Why not visit Martin and buy a in the rogues den and buy a thieving cape? Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, come and meet me in birth or be easy. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you in a couple of fucking years. <laughs> yeah, that'll take a while. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Look at the GZs going crazy. Back to freaking work, man. I got more glass blowing to do. Actually, let's do a tally real quick. Let's see how many gems we've got after all that. We've got about 12,500 sapphires, just about 2,000 emeralds, 650, a little over 650 rubies, and about 125 diamonds. So that's pretty good. Like all in all, what, 20k? That's not bad. I feel like that was worth it. Yo, motherfucker. You said four. I said 3.30 and I messaged you three times. Oh, I was getting food, probably. <laughs> it's okay. It's unbelievable. Your message just says jump in this, but... <laughs> yeah. It's all right. Yeah. We did it. Sorry. Right. You're good, it's man. Easy, You're chilling. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I wanted to be there. For the vid. You're in now. I'm still recording. <laughs> Dummy. Don't subscribe to Spoon. Yeah, don't do it. Give it to them instead. Subscribe to Mark RS. Easy game. There's 70 crafting. Getting there. Just got back from doing a mime show, which will put us at level nine agility, three away from the next milestone. At the same time, I've just finished all of our sapphires. We've got 12,563 sapphires, which for the most part will turn into re rings of recoil, likely for the Colosseum later. But for now, we're just gonna leave them as sapphires and start getting through these emeralds. All right, and that's the rest of the emeralds. Also done 2,041. Those will mostly turn into probably Rings of Dueling. So we won't actually be able to reutilize those to teleport to the Colosseum until I hit like 12,000 glory or something crazy. Regardless, two gems down. Let's keep going. Oh, also, I think I missed the level. So we're at 74. Probably going to get 75 here through rubies and, and the diamonds. All right, just finished all the gems. We got 667 rubies, 131 diamonds total, and we hit 75 crafting. We'll do a quick farm run, and then the plan is
this to go back and start to get through the rest of the banked sand and soda ash that we have. And then, of course, we'll just keep doing lantern lenses until we hit the next milestone. I just quickly did a farm run, and on my walk back over here, we got a genie. So of course, that means we got a lamp. This one actually is going to be a good one. going to get us to level 10 in the agility. Of course, we're trying to get to 12. That's the next milestone. This at least gets us one step closer. Been a minute since I did a level update. We actually just got one last inventory, so I should have done it then, but we got 78 crafting. I think that's a couple ahead of where we were last time. We've also got 80 wood cutting. I just wood cut anytime I need to wait for a random event because hopping obviously resets the counter. I'm trying to get somewhere around 100k XP per day, and we're just getting somewhere around 36 uh, K XP per hour. So we're making progress, but we certainly have a long way to go. All right, we did get a dunce random. However, I'm not going to use it yet. I want to save it, see if we can get two lamps, because if I can use two lamps, it actually saves me like 15 or something uh, XP or 50 XP. Sorry. Real question is, what are the odds I get something good out of this mystery box? You're right. All right, let's use the lamp. 100 agility XP for level 11. Will not get us to 12, but we'll use it anyways. It'll get us very close. 34 XP away. One more random and we get 12, which would be the next milestone. All right, let's open the box. See what we get. Are you kidding me, dude? All right, just got back from a bit of a vacation. Had a couple days off at a competition, a dirt bike competition to go to. So we just got back. The reason I'm recording is because we got this book and that gives us a very, very important level. And that is agility level 12. That's the next milestone for the regeneration of our run, which is perfectly timed because I just did a buttload of wood cutting with yous, just kind of AFKing, trying to get my, my mindset back into this. And I was just about to start going back to doing some more multi glass so this is co literally couldn't have been at a better time so let's start doing it and see how this run energy makes any difference as you can tell we've been holding on to these all for quite a while i've just been doing afking but we've got a bunch of lamps so we will just spam them onto agility that one first got us a level that's 13 take three probably to get to the next one yep it goes pretty far though there's 14 and pretty much all the way through 15 or through 14 up to 15 so one lamp away from the next one but now that i have some inventory space i can afk a little bit longer and then when i get i don't know three or four more i'll come back and do it again always gotta record these just in case you get something really good and it is a second myth sim i mean it's not gonna be used for anything and high alks for i mean 600 i guess i'll high alk it if i ever get runes or that magic level but yeah, not horrible i guess it could be worse all right so i'm going to start doing some more crafting it's been a minute since i've done any crafting as you can tell by the dates but at this point i'm going to use the lamps that we have have and i don't know how far this is actually gonna get us but that was 15 close to 16 so we'll get 16 here and i missed a big level milestone the last time we did this which is actually 900 total and we're shortly coming up on 25 mil total xp so i don't know kind of cool i guess this is probably the furthest or and i might have been further on total level but certainly less on total xp like ever on any of my accounts but i, I think i've probably surpassed 1100 total before either way we're gonna get into to doing some crafting right now i'm doing like slightly afk so i'm just gonna start banking because it's a little bit more afk but still kind of along the lines of able to do while uh doing other things so we'll just afk and, and start doing that these trees have an aura i just keep finding myself here afk but we did just get 84 wood cutting i nearly missed this but we all know nearly doesn't count 80 crafting boom back to my favorite place this whole chunk 81 crafting i just now noticed this bar is green now i don't I don't know at what point that turns green but it is a very nice sight to be seen we are coming up on 75 percent through the crafting goal with this walk back while we're making these lenses we're gonna hit three milestones at the pretty much the exact same time first is three mil crafting xp second is we're over 75 percent through our goal and the last is we're under 1 million left of this grind. Obviously, those two kind of go hand in hand, the 3 mil and the less than the 1 mil because we're 75. They all kind of go together, right? I don't think you guys understand how good that actually feels just because of how much world hopping we've actually had to do to be able to do this grind. I am so over it. I would love to never world hop again. Welcome to this new segment I like to call shit. 
with Spoon. Today, we're gonna look at world hopping. Keep in mind, this is editing Spoon, so I've got all the numbers for you. First, we started with thieving. We ended up getting almost 15,300 gem stalls. About 10% of the worlds were empty, which means we hopped 8,400 times just for thieving. Crafting, though it felt a lot longer, wasn't actually as many world hops. We needed about 42,000, it's a rough calculation. Molten glass, the real kicker here, 50% of all of our worlds didn't even have a single trader inside of our chunk, which forced us to world hop immediately. That got us to just about 6,700 world hops. Cooking, on the other hand, very easy. It was definitely the fastest of all of them. Only required about 1,800 world hops. But sadly, combining all these together, I shit you not, pun intended, this was the actual number from the calculations. 17,069 world hops. I'm sick of it. I'm so sick of world hopping. You have no idea. I never want to world hop again. And back to crafting, this gave us 85 crafting, which actually allows us to make amethyst arrow tips, but I don't know if we're going to get there anytime soon. 86 crafting! So I just did my last inventory of molten glass, soda ash, sands, buckets of sand. I made unpowered orbs. I figured we could bank a couple here and there, but where it all began was working towards crafting in this on this account to get the uncut sapphire and cut it. And of course, that's exactly where it will end for this this grind 87 crafting that's the first i would say big chunk task that we've had in this account we need to make a dorgishan light orb let's go do that real quick and of course i forgot to keep a molten glass so of course we had to go get another one but boom there it is our empty light orb that's chunk task complete. So if we open our collection log, we can now see that one of the longest grinds on our account, at least for this chunk, is now finished. Now we can move on. So I've decided from now, I'm going to start working on the other tasks that need to be completed. The cooking is going to take a little bit longer. And honestly, it involves more world hopping. I'm so sick of world hopping. I'm not doing it right now. So instead, I'm going to go grab our, we've got our axe. We're going to go do some oak logs and just get up our uh fire making which we obviously need to be able to uh i think it's 65 or 60 to do u logs so we're gonna start working on that just a couple levels but making progress that's level 40 fire making and just a tiny little gap between levels 50 fire making got a lamp though lamp and flax huge agility so close two more for 18 throw my lamp on agility one lamp to go at 18 let's go there it is 57 fire making Getting really close. There it is, 58. Two to go. Ooh, there's 59 fire making. One to go. Oh, baby, a genie. I got a genie. Throw that shit on agility. 18, let's go. Now that was important. I needed the run energy. Let's go. Just got level 60 fire making, and of course I missed it, but let's grab some U logs and actually make a fire. All right, here's the U log. Let's quickly fire make it. Okay, can't do it here. <laughs> I'll do it over here. And there it is. That's chunk task complete. Let's open up our collection log. And there we go. We can see we've got another green logged item for the fire making. That's pretty good. Let's go world hop, buy some feathers, and start making headless arrows to get our fletching. But either way, I'm going to take my book of knowledge and put it on agility. Hey, 69 fletching. 68 of me. Good agility. This should get us to 19. Um, not very far into it, so it's definitely going to take two randoms to get the next one. But, all right, so I just finished doing some world hopping. Actually ran out of coins and we still need 50,000, a little bit less than 50,000 more feathers. I'm gonna run to the bank quickly, grab our valuables, go sell a bunch. After we sell some valuables, we'll go back and get more feathers. All right, so I just did a super quick calculation. I, I did it a while ago, but how much money I need for the 95 cooking is something around 2.3 mil. This number of valuables should give us about that if we sell it to the mysterious man that's sitting over here. All right, let's hand them in. And and 2.8. So I actually got more than I expected. I wonder if they changed the price on those. I'll take a look while I walk back to the fishing spot. So I just checked back. I did the calculations for 2.3 mil, which is what I need for cooking. And that actually got me 41,820, not 51,820 valuables. So I did sell too many. It's honestly fine. We'll have 500,000-ish coins 
afterwards, which is good to have in the bank anyways. Hey, 70 fletching. The levels kind of come out of nowhere, to be honest. All right. And here is 72. Oh, that's 71. I was wrong. Damn it. I got one more level. Son of a bitch. All right, we got a lamp uh, from a mime random this time. We'll take that, throw it onto agility, of course. That gives us halfway to 20. We're quickly approaching the end of the fletching segment of this of this grind uh however i've i bought a little bit too many feathers so i'm just gonna run through the feathers and then after that i'll go actually make the shield there it is 72 fletching we can now make a u shield which is what we actually need boom there's our u shield and we'll wield it which is two tasks in one chunk complete let's open the collection log and boom there it is. We can now see you have two more green log. Let's go. That means it is time to move on, grab our money, and just go straight over to fishing. No, Tom, I won't get in Discord, but I will get 86 cooking. 87 cooking just came in. This is the first day I would say I'm putting in like a lot of time. Um, even this is not like a ton though. I think we're on like three, maybe four hours today. So gonna start making progress, but uh, the levels have been certainly slow. I'm hoping this week we can start to pick up the pace. Just got back from a mime random, got a lamp, of course, very good for us. We will throw this onto agility and that actually gets us to level 20. Getting closer and closer to the next milestone. Next milestone for us will be 24. Of course I missed it, but we did just get the second level of our grind so far. That is 88 cooking coming in, plenty to go. And there's 89 cooking. We've got a couple more to go, but we're certainly making progress more than we've made lately that's for sure we'll take this throw it on to agility and it actually gets us 21 so we're three more levels away from another agility milestone and likely the end of our lamping kind of grind i don't know what it is but i keep missing these levels but we got 91 got another 600k until the next level i'm hoping to actually get that today I'm hoping today is going to be a big xp day see if we can uh, keep our head down get the xp and make progress to finally finish this chunk just got 92 cooking i actually have proof this time i missed the number but at least we've got this which is moonlight antelope that actually might come in handy eventually i don't know when but if we get pure pure we'll be able to start training hunter and then that maybe that'll come in handy either way 92 halfway to 99 even though we're not going and a mystery box hoping for a lamp always 20 nature is actually not bad i'm gonna grab a full inventory of tuna and we'll deposit this in the bank 33 cooking we got another lamp from a sergeant random of course we'll throw it on agility won't get us a level but it'll get us close back to cooking oh look at this old dogs do learn new tricks Ooh. 94 cooking one to go let's go and we just hit a strength level 63 strength coming in we also filled the inventory i am gonna kill this one sand crab if i need to i'll pull away and just turn these into uh tips but we're gonna go over and get i think they were bandits i don't know what they are we'll find out all right so we might be here for a little while it turns out their drop rate is a one and one two eight so i will pretty much be here luring these guys until we get it hopefully it's sometime before our chunk roll tonight hey there there it is. Steel pickaxe. All right, that's huge. Uh, we're done here. I'm going to go back. I'm going to bank, uh, get a little bit of food, just get my health up, and then go back to sand crabs. Also, I realized I didn't say what KC that was. That was KC39. So we most certainly got spooned on that one, which is fantastic. At this point, I think we're close enough to say that we finished the chunk, though, at least hours wise, because I spent a couple hours doing other things, like killing these and going for that steel pickaxe. But all in all, I would say this is a very accurate representation. I think we started this grind at about 28 days, and we're finishing it at 51 days and 16 hours not too bad genie let's fucking go huge agility level 22 hey 65 strength two. Woo! okay here it is this is it this is this is the button right here 95 cooking done oh it feels good it feels really really good i'm not gonna lie it feels really good we planted the strawberries a little while ago and i kind of just let them sit here i'm not gonna lie because i knew that we were gonna use them and we'll use them right now just to finish off our 95 cooking grind once we get a full inventory here and we will use these straight into the pie dish to make a partial summer pie which takes 95 cooking i unfortunately don't have the level requirement to actually get the or the farming requirement rather to get the watermelons that are required for the full summer pie i wouldn't be able to do it anyways because i don't think i have cooking apples if i remember correctly so either way, we wouldn't be able to do the full one right now, I don't think. We got the 95. That's what matters to me. So that's a chunk complete. 
or a chunk task complete. So we'll have to make sure we check that one off. Because I added in my farming level to our chunk map, we had to plant Renars. So I did plant Renars. We'll check that off. All right, we'll make our bronze bar. And this is just like a prove it requirement. Super easy. Doesn't require anything level wise. It's just to say I can do it. I can get the stuff and do it. All right, we'll hit on this anvil quickly and we will make the bronze dagger that we need to for our chunk task. And there it is. That's the chunk task. That is all of them. This is where uh, death begins. I've I've had very bad thoughts about this chunk roll for the past like three weeks. I've thought I'm getting the Coliseum. So spam it, spam it. Here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yes, let's go. Oh, this is so good. Oh my gosh, I don't think you guys understand how amazing this chunk actually is. Oh, baby. No way you guys couldn't see it. No way. That's crazy. Uh, it was the aqueduct. It's recorded. It will be in the video. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. That's crazy. All right, let's unlock it. Oh, this is so good. Oak tree. Got some imps. A oh, buttload of willow trees. Six willow trees there. A dock that goes nowhere. Maybe we'll get away over. Uh, maybe they'll expand that or something once the other stuff comes in. Drink from bird bath. Do I do this? <laughs> is that your only way? Yep, that's my only way to get in and out through that little uh, cave. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that either. Um, Traveler. Yeah. Yeah, these people heal you. They don't really do anything else, though. Servant of Relis, yeah. This is same as the... This is good because I don't have one of these yet. Absolutely crazy. Spam the... Spam it, spam it. What number are we getting now? Four again. Bro's on a four streak. Tom, I hate you. Ferrex, you're also in the hole. So is Nightwolf. All right, three, two, one. Let's get it. Yes! Oh, we have a way off the fucking island. Woo! Dude, this is, this is working out so much better than I expected. We actually have stuff to do. We actually have stuff to do. Let's start doing a quest. I have never done this quest. Back to the chunk. All right, we're sitting here. Let's unlock this new chunk. Let's explore first, then we'll check. Uh, yeah, do the quest. So we've got guards, which is good, even though I've had a million of those already. Squires, knights, which I already have. I don't know why they're tagged. More knights, more guards. Papyrus? Is that used for anything? I'm gonna assume it's this chick, maybe? I don't know. I believe so. Yes, I will start it. Of course, quest helper just initiated right away. Whatever, I'm just gonna leave it. Recognize you too, part of the delegation in Varrock. Probably get out more. Hide your pain very quickly. Do, 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 do. All right, let's open the gate of this place that I've wanted to go in, but have never been able to go in and talk to the prince. This place looks pretty sweet. Like me in the pub. All right, we'll go to the pub. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Sweet. Let's head down to the pub. Sorry, you're busy right now. What do you want me to do? Oh, pickpocket him. Do, 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 do. What is this? Stolen amulet. Not as valuable as it looks. All right, cool. Got to get rid of the smuggling. Weapon smuggling, dude. Information. Okay, so which one's it in? Standard size and isn't part of a a stack okay so any of the individual ones all right let's check off the chunk task and go again all right you guys know the rule spam it oh wait just kidding we're not done yet we need to add this chunk rollable this is the location of that bird that it connects to we now officially have a non varlamore chunk able to be rolled uh that one is 12 for reference the varrock is 12 if anyone's 12 for sure no doubt about it he's changing his mind away from, everyone is changing their mind away from the coliseum it's 12s all day this is now when i'm gonna roll coliseum can someone spam Coliseum so that they're wrong? All right, let's do it. Three, two, one. And? Oh, oh my God. I'm not going to lie. I saw the Coliseum coming and I, I almost shit myself. I almost shit myself with that thing coming through. I thought I was going to stop on it. All right. We've got a backlog, uh, potentially, eventually, who knows, agility training method. That'd be cool. We've got a plank spawn. Okay. That could be dangerous. Two plank spawns. That might be really bad. In a cave entrance we can't get into. A lot more crabs. What do we got? All right. Uh, so we have 11 now. So that just increased our odds to get Colosseum. So yeah, that increases our chances to get either mining chunk, Puro Puro, or Colosseum, which are our grinds currently. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. There's Colosseum showing like 30 times, guys. I'm so mad. God damn it. God damn it. Oh. Well, 
This is the moment we've waited for. It's time to take on the Colosseum. But not before we thank our beautiful members. First, of course, the Golden Rocky of all Rockies, Tony Turbo 78. Appreciate you. You're a fucking legend. Also, at our Rocky tier, we have Agile Tom, the Cox Chunk himself, Potato Man, Diggy Dog SP, and Mr. Pooter. Thank you all so much for being a part of the memberships. It really does mean a ton. Till the next one. See you later.